from the motion picture Rocky, you can hear the theme behind us being played of Rocky, John. It seems to be uh, a normal event now. When you have a main event, you play the theme from Rocky. That's right, and especially in this case, I guess, with the sport growing along like Rocky did, and also those kickboxers growing along all the way and having a, a local and a guy from Ottawa, a Canadian, who's going to try for the world title. I think the uh, theme was a little bit good in the selection of it. Okay, describe to our viewers the boxers, the kickboxers, starting off with, in the red corner, Doug Ware. Doug Ware, 6'3", 166 pounds. Golden Gloves champion from New England in past history. 6-0 in kickboxing. Uh, a very good puncher and a very good kicker. I, I was told, I've never seen him fight, Chinese Stadio record, 14 wins, two losses. Canadian middleweight champion, number two contender in the world, 5'11", 168 pounds. Known for power in both hands and power in both legs. A really powerful fighter. A slow starter at times, or most of the time, he wants to feel things out. Shaiv is a 12-rounder fighter, so on a seven round, he's got to open up a bit quicker. So this Doug Ware has uh, the advantage in reach. He's got the advantage in height. His hands should be better from his boxing experience, but the story is going to unfold very soon, Ron. Doug Ware is the uh, replacement for Roger Hurd, who was first scheduled to fight. What's the reason behind uh, Ware in place of Hurd? Okay, Roger Hurd got hurt. He uh, tore some ligaments in his elbow while training two weeks ago. And this fight was scheduled in Boston for November 15th, so he just took that fight, brought it to Ottawa. And whatever happens, if both fighters want a rematch, they'll get a rematch in Boston on November 15th. So I think that uh, we'll see how it's going to go for rematches. Okay, Ron the Bomb, bringing both fighters to the center of the ring. Going over a few of the basic rules that he would like them to follow. On your right is Jean-Yves Theriot. And in that red corner, Doug Ware, the bell sounds. Round one underway. John? That's right. And that's Jean-Yves Theriot's power. Seconds. Will he come back with it again? It certainly looks as though he had wear. Put Tidio away. Is looking good. Another round kick to the face by Tidio. Oh, I thought this fight was all over the second time that wear went down. Oh, he is so groggy. Oh, Tidio wants this fight this real fight. bad. They should throw in the towel. The, the kid has been hurt. If it was my boy, I would throw in the towel. Terio all over where here in the opening round. Oh, Solo left good. thrown again yeah, by Terio. Didn't land properly. Well, I'm surprised. That, I'm surprised, John, that Terio has not. There it is. Beautiful I was looking kick. for that kick. That's it's gotta be in. It's all over. I think it's all over. Stopping the fight. He is stopping the fight. Well, Ron the Bomb. It's all over. Four knockdown in the first round. Jai Dillo will fight Bill Superfoot Wallace April 26th, the Ottawa Civic Center. The world champions coming to Ottawa. Woo! John, a tremendous bout here. A great fight. It was over in just a matter of minutes, uh, seconds, in this first round of the main event. Jean-Yves Terrio defeating Doug Ware. I John, think, your final comments. I think what happened here is that Jean-Yves stunned him right in the opening round with a left hook. Now, 
We don't know if Doug Ware is that good or how good he is, he is, but we'll know in Boston if he wants to rematch. He was stunned right away. Then that powerful kick that came in knocked him down, and I think the fight should have been stopped over there. And then a final kick with a punch combination to follow did the job, and it's going home with the champ and bring on Bill Wallace. John Teddy, and thank you very much for uh, having us here at the uh, Shadow. It was a pleasure. I hope our viewers enjoyed every minute of uh, professional kickboxing. I hope so, too. Well, it'd be nice if we can get John just over here right now. John, okay. Let's see if we can pick up things here. Uh, we want to congratulate you on just a tremendous boat. You really came out. Was that your plan to come out as fast as you did? Well, uh, for the past uh, couple of fights, my manager and my trainer told me to try to start a little bit sooner because uh, uh, one of my fights I almost lost because I took about three rounds to start. And uh, my manager told me, you know, try and go out there and start throwing some real good stuff and uh, it's paying off. John, are you going to give him a rematch in Boston? Well, if he wants to... If she wants to get hurt again, uh, what can I say? <laughs> Tommy, listen, with all of this uh, training that you went through for this particular fight, it must be great to finish it in the early stages of that opening round. Yeah, well, I was training for a light heavyweight fella, and uh, uh, I was getting ready real, real hard. I was getting ready to punch, you know, and kick hard, and uh, unfortunately, uh, that fellow couldn't make it, and we had a replacement uh, three or four weeks ago, so uh, everything is coming together real good. Okay, real listen, good. we'll let you go. I know you're uh, sweating here like crazy. You put up a great fight. Thanks very much. Congratulations again. Thank you very much.